Let's go. Another spontaneous adventure. The night prior, I sent my cousin screenshots from Google Maps with some red circles, said we should hike up this mountain and camp on the face of it. Without hesitation, he said yes. And after a beautiful two hour drive through the fall foliage, we made it to our destination. Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all doing well. So we just arrived at one of our local ski resorts. We're gonna be taking a gondola up to the top of the mountain and then hiking some of the trails at the top. And then we're gonna see if we can find a nice secluded spot to pitch a tent for tonight and camp up at the top of the mountain. Let's get into it. So our main purpose of today's trip pretty much is we need to test all of our gear because next weekend I'm heading out to Algonquin backcountry to do a portage. So we just pretty much wanna break into hiking boots, make sure all the gear's ready to roll. And yeah, we'll see you guys when we get to the top and get into the trails. Yeah. All right guys, we just made it to the top of the mountain here. We just got onto the hiking trail. Um, we still got quite a ways, a couple kilometers till we want to find a spot to post up at for tonight. Um, right now we're just gonna walk around, enjoy the views and take in some of the trails and we'll take you along with us. <laughs> Look at this guys. Top of the lookout here, absolutely stunning. Alright guys, we made it to the top of the mountain right now. Um, we're at a pretty nice spot, I wish we could pitch a tent here, but we're in the middle of the ski hill so it's not really going to work. But uh, we're going to keep trekking into the woods. Right behind me is the lake, it kind of looks like the sky, but that's actually the lake, it's a little foggy. Super beautiful up here. Alright, let's keep moving. Right, right where my thumb is. As you can tell, we're off the trail right now. We're digging deep into the woods. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down because we're just gonna hammer it for about 30 minutes. We need to get to this spot really quick because we're running out of light. So I'll see you guys when we get to the spot. All right, I know I said I'm putting the camera down, but I just wanted to show you what we're hiking up. Literally straight up, 450 meters, climbing to the top of this mountain. Whew. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Alright guys, I think we found our campsite for today. We just hiked up this mountain, it was about uh, 450 meters. We're f***ing dead right now. Um, we didn't get the view we wanted. You can see the mountains like through the trees right here, but it's not perfect. 
um, but we're running out of daylight. We have to pitch a tent here, otherwise we're gonna be setting up in the dark. So we're gonna bust a move, set up camp, and take you along with us. All right, so this flat little area is gonna be our campsite for tonight. Aaron's got a hammock tent, so we might set him between these trees or these trees here. And then I'm just gonna pitch my tent on this flat area here. As you can tell behind Aaron, that's another mountain right there. And then the lake's through the trees that way. This was the way I figured out how to do it with carabiners. Yeah. What I mean by it's asymmetrical, it kind of has to go straight out, or else when you lay down, it's like bruh, yeah, you don't own that, that's not fair, and yeah. you can't even resell that. All right, guys, so our camp is pretty much set up right now. It took us 20 minutes to get this all up, not too bad. I've got a single shooter tent, Aaron's got the hammock, he's pretty much set up. Mine's all good to go. I got the blow up mattress, give you guys a little tour of what we're rolling with here. We just got the single nightcap tent with a blow up mattress, got a sleeping bag, it's got all my gear down there, nothing too special. And that's my setup. <laughs> all right guys, yeah, so you know what, I'm actually really happy with this campsite. I know I didn't get the view I wanted, but it's still really beautiful. You can kind of see the mountains in the background. We're just gonna make some coffee, listen to some tunes, vibe out a bit, and uh, just taking the nature, you guys hear that? Absolutely beautiful. It is pretty windy up here, but we got the tents all strapped in, so I think we'll be good for tonight. Definitely no rain, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Oh yeah, starting to steam. Yeah, that yeah. looks good. Cool, cool, cool. You want a little bit or? Uh, I don't know. So we're all settled in, relaxing, but we decided just to do a little exploring because we don't even really know where we are. So we got the big old lights out with us. We're just gonna walk around for a little and see if we can find anything cool. All right guys, so it's getting pretty dark. I just made it back to the campsite. We didn't really find anything near us. I think we're honestly just gonna take it easy for tonight. I'm probably gonna put the camera down now because I only have half a battery left and I definitely wanna save some for the hike home tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later. All right guys, it's actually super windy. The tent's holding up all right. Got everything set up. We got the air mattress all set. Got all the gear. But I think I'm gonna head to bed right now. I'll see you guys in the morning. Guys, I don't know if you can hear this, but we're in some serious windstorms right now. Like this is absolutely insane, dude. morning everyone um, I barely slept if I'm being real maybe like an hour tops this is like I checked the weather app it's like 30 kilometer an hour winds right now and I think on the mountain it's probably a lot stronger like I don't know if you guys can hear that it's still super windy like it's been a pretty tough night guys but 
I'm gonna get out of bed here. I'm gonna slowly start packing things up, and then we gotta hike down the mountain, and we got about seven kilometers back to the car, so see you guys when I get up. Sorry if the audio's messed up. It is super windy, man. Uh, Aaron's still just sleeping. I'm gonna give him like another 30 minutes because he's the one driving home. And then uh, we're gonna pop up, ugh, pack up tent and get out of here. We gotta hike down this mountain, go about 7K back to the car. So we're in for a big day today. I just wanna get down there, get some real food, get some coffee. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm just gonna slowly start deflating things and uh, getting everything set up because he's got the hammock it's a lot easier for him I got to take all these things apart in the tent so I'm gonna start packing my stuff up now All right, by the way guys, my camera has one battery left, so uh, if the video just randomly ends, that's why. Guys, we're just rolling out from camp right now. Our game plan is we're gonna walk down this mountain here, maybe walk along the edge of the ski hill and uh, try and make our way back to the car as quick as possible. Be a lot harder than going up. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, <laughs> oh shit, the tree's coming move. down. You gotta move. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I caught that. Oh my God. All right guys. Now you know what we're dealing with here. This is pretty gnarly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, watch this be that valley with the river. I think it is. Is it? But I see the ski hill right there, so might have to walk around it or over it. All right, guys, my camera is blinking red. It's about to die. I'm gonna throw it in my bag because I need to really take my time on the steep hill. I'll make an outro at the car. All right, guys, we finally made it back to the car. We had about a six kilometer hike back. It wasn't too bad. Once we got down the mountain, we just took a lot of roads. But anyways, the whole purpose of this trip was to test out the gear, make sure everything held up for Algonquin. And through the windstorms and everything, all the gear held up well. My feet are a little sore from these new boots, but it's all good. My camera is literally gonna die in two seconds. So if you made it this far, leave a like and subscribe. Until next time.